morning students i am telling you about the assistant professor automobile government in the last in this class i am going to teach you about the new subject that is noise vibration and resonance noise vibration and resonance right the subject code is 80007 80007 in this subject i am going to teach you the how the noise is creating and vibration is creating and how we can measure how we can measure right that are the patterns we are going to study here right today i am going to teach you a first unit that is fundamentals of fundamentals of acoustics and noise vibration noise or vibration right in this this is a first topic that is a theory of sound first we need to know sound what is meant by sound right theory of sound what is meant by sound that is a the sensation of sound is a result of vibrations in the air sensation of sound is a result of vibration in the air caused by the pressure fluctuations this will happen due to the pressure fluctuations right uh, what is meant by sound there is a noise right when it is called as sound and when it is called as noise when the sound level the sound intensity is less than 20 kilohertz less than 20 kilohertz human hear the sound human able to hear the sound that is called as sound that is called as sound right suppose the sound frequency is more than 20 kilohertz 20 more than 20 kilohertz means it is a noise it's a noise right that is the main thing you have to know then only you can able to know these things right first this is a theory of sound is a sensation of sound is a result of vibration result of vibration in the yeah caused by the pressure fluctuation due to the pressure fluctuations the sound will create due to that sound small vibration will produce small vibration will produce right what kind of vibration will produce due to this sound wave what kind of vibration will produce means longitudinal vibration Because longitudinal wave will create here, longitudinal wave will create here, right? So, how we can measure this sound? How we can measure this sound? With the help of sound level meter, with the help of sound level meter, we can measure the sound. We can measure the sound, right? So, this will combine. This will be a produce the vibration right so we need to know the vibration first vibrations are most or more commonly associated with the mechanical systems vibration or always produce always produce in the mechanical system more often, right mostly all the machines all the machine parts and all the machines will create the noise create the sound so due to the sound the vibration will produce that due to the sound the vibration will produce that right then when the vibrate the then the sound is the sound wave is transmitted in the air when the sound wave is transmitted in the air the wave form will be longitudinal wave wave form will be longitudinal wave right with that Longitudinal form, longitudinal wave has compression and the expansion. For example, sinusoidal wave, what is that? Expansion, then compression, right? Simultaneously, it will happen like that, right? Then, how we can measure the sound? Already, I know. I said already. I said that with the help of sound level meter, we can measure the sound. We can measure the sound, right? In that sound level meter, in that sound uh, sound level meter, we can measure the sound pressure and sound intensity. Sound pressure and sound intensity. First is sound pressure. Is the pressure the how much amount of pressure fluctuation? Pressure fluctuation 
carbon and the, the atmosphere. Yeah. That means how much amount of pressure difference happen? How much amount of pressure difference happen? That is the sound pressure. And what's the sound intensity? How much amount of sound? What's the frequency level? What's the frequency level? How much amount of sound will produce that? That's the concept of sound intensity. This things we can calculate together the amplitude, frequency, human ear and noise. Amplitude means minimum, minimum noise to maximum noise level. The distance between the minimum level to maximum level. That is in the sensory wave. You can check with the one side rate towards the minimum value and maximum value. That is the one side of amplitude. Then frequency. How much frequency the noise will create? Right? Sound. That is the main thing. That when the frequency level is 20 gets to 20 kilohertz, then not the sound we can hear. That sound we can hear, right? Then the human ear condition. In the human ear condition, the noise level is the 0 dB to 0 dB in decibel, right? dB means decibel. 0 dB to 120 decibel. Only we can able to hear. We can able to hear. 0 to 120 decibel only we can able to hear. More than that means it will come up with the, comes up with the noise. Noise. When the decibel value increased more than the 120 decibel, that is uh, that is called as noise. That is that will not use for human hearing. 